Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm doing a collaboration video with your girl, V. She got in touch with me and asked me if I would be interested in a collab, and I said, oh, yes. So, we're today going to be doing, Manny's doing astrology. So, that's kind of open-ended. You could do all sorts of things with that. But today, I'm going to start using a base coat of Peel Ease. And there's a reason why. It's not because this manicure isn't going to stay on. It's just because um, you'll see in just a little bit. So I'm going to get my peelies on and we're going to hop right on into the rest of the mani. Okay, so today I'm going to be using this Zoya Pixie Dust as my base color. And that's the reason for the peel off base coat. And this one is called Waverly. It is gorgeous. So let me get the cap off and we'll go in for our first coat. Okie dokie, here we go. Now I normally try to be pretty careful with the pixie dust, especially ones that are very dark in color, because I don't want to have to do a lot of cleanup. I'm going very, very slowly with them. And I love pixie dust. I love them so much that I bought like a ton of them. And I need to be using them, so I figured today would be a great opportunity for that. Alrighty. Alright, we're going to do a second coat, so I'm not worried about it being fully opaque or anything. I do hear people talk about wearing the pixie dust, you know, in one coat, but I try to do my layers kind of thin so that they dry faster. As you can see, these other ones are already starting to dry get that matte look to them. So I'm going to let this dry and we're going to go in with the second coat. Alrighty, that has dried down pretty good. I've painted the other nails. So we're going to go in and do our second coat of Waverly. I'm remembering how much I love these Zoya polishes. <laughs> these pixie dust. It's, um, they're really easy to control, in, in my opinion. I think that they, you know, work really well. They stay on the nail, and they don't go, you know, sliding down the side, which I approve. I'm just being very careful. Like I said, I'm very, very careful with these. Um, they've got all the little glitters in them, which can be, you know, a nightmare to clean up. And they also are very pigmented. So I definitely don't want to get this on my skin and have to do a lot of cleanup. I'm trying to smooth out that tip. I normally don't recap on the second coat, but on these I do. So there we go. We've got our second coat. Now I'm going to have to let these dry down all the way so that we can do the stamping. So I'm going to let them dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I think I'm pretty dry. Look how gorgeous that is. This stuff just is so pretty out in the sun. Mm. So, today I'm going to be using this Born Pretty plate. And this is BPL087. Sorry. It's got a lot of, like, astrology, zodiac kind of things on it. So, we're going to pull that blue film off real quick. And then we're going to clean it off with some acetone. And I like to wipe it with a paper towel, too. I don't know why that is, but today I'm going to be stamping with Pure Ice, and this one is Silver Mercedes. It is not a stamping polish, but I, I, I love it for stamping. I'm going to use my AliExpress stamper and my Beauty Scraper. So we're going to hop right on into it. And I decided what I might do is just use some of these images, you know, like the star images, and we'll go, go from there if I get the polish open. <laughs> So, oh, hold on. I need to grab a piece of tape because I'm going to have parts of this come up that I don't really want to be in my design. And just like I knew it would. Trying to be very careful not to pull up parts that I want. So here we go. And I might try to get a couple of them on each nail. Oh, that didn't stick very well. We might have to do some something else. 
Okay, as usual, I leave the oopsies in. I just wanted to let you guys know that I decided to go ahead and add a coat of the Pro FX Sticky Base to all of my nails. I really did want to do this manicure um, just straight up textured with that textured look, but plans have changed, obviously. So here we go. We're going to hop right on back into some stamping. <laughs> Sometimes your manicures have to evolve as you do them so that you can, you know, get them, get them done. I'm being very careful, going in carefully and removing the excess. Alright, I think we're good on that one. So I'm going to try to get it to stick to the nail this time. Yay! It actually did. And let's go with another one. I need a little one. There's another little one. Maybe this one over here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of these on here, but as many of them as I can. Very nice. This is the first time I've ever used this plate, and I'm really liking it. Picking it very nicely. Alrighty, and then I'm going to put this one over here. Oh, yay! Alrighty, so we're going to bump right along. I'm going to just keep on being busy with this. And I might speed it up. I might not. I don't know. You know, I know that normally when I talk straight through my videos, they end up being rather long. And most of you have said you don't really care if they're long. trying to pop up. Sorry I got quiet. I'm normally pretty chatty, but <laughs> I guess I'm focusing today. That one didn't come out very well. I'm going to bump it off on the lint roller and do it again. I might have um, used a different polish, a different polish for stamping, but today I just was feeling this kind of like a metallic, not glittery, if that makes sense. I, sometimes I like the glittery, and sometimes I'm looking more for just something that'll stick out and show. So there we go with those ones are done. got to put this one on my accent nail because that one's mine for the cancer. Got a lot of extra on that one. So I really would like you all to go check out my friend your girl V's channel. I think I think you would really enjoy her her content. Go see what she did, what her astrology mani looks like. So I'm kind of needing another small one. <laughs> Running out of small ones. I need longer nails. Did really get it there. And it's this cleaning up that takes the time it be a longer video. And I have to pay attention. That's why my mouth isn't running as bad as normal. <laughs> I'm 
trying to make sure I get all of the images on my nails though. Next we're going to hit this one. I'm really kind of liking that. Let's do that one. Oh goodness that one was close. We got it though. Just put that one on that nail. I'm so far I'm digging this. Thank you, V, for inviting me to play. And we'll do this one. Can't wait to see what her manicure looks like. I looked at some pictures and there was just all kinds of options and I just decided to go with this. This was the kind of look that I saw in my head originally when we first started talking about doing this collab. So I just decided to stick with it. That nail is so curvy. Alright, one more. One that I haven't done. It's kind of hard to tell. The silver polish doesn't. Maybe that one. The silver polish doesn't really show up on the plate where where I had done it. When I swipe, it just kind of kind of looks see through. Come on now. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to call this one the last one, and there we go. So I am going to clean up this mess and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to use some Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat over the top of this, and my bottle is like super empty, so I am tilting it to get some out. I'm going to use it up, put it in the empties, although I don't really do empties like most people do. So there we have it. Alrighty, I'm going to use a coat of this American Classics Jealous and it's a very thick like uh, coat and it helps fill in all that lumpy bumpiness that you can get with glitters or textured polishes, things of that nature. I like to use this and then do my regular top coat. I find this at Sally's and I love it. It's like glitter food or something. And I am going to cap my edges to help smooth them out some too. So there we go. I'm going to let that dry down for just a bit. I'll be right back. Alrighty, and I'm going to top this one off with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Get this to seal down and smooth out a little bit more. I'm going quite generous with the top coat because this is a pretty thick mani. <laughs> it's actually quite thick for me. Kind of encapsulate this whole manicure. Even down to the end capping. Tip capping. So, there we go. Alrighty, well here is my final manicure. I might go back and um, put a matte top coat on this since, you know, that was actually the look I was going for. And we'll see what it looks like that way. If I do end up doing that, I will take a swatch photo and add it to the end. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this manicure. Be sure to go over and check out my girl V on her channel, see what she had to, had come up with for her manicure, and that is it for today, so until next time, be good to yourself, I'll talk to you soon, bye!